Okay. My next question. Under professional appointments, number three, uh, Cleary G. Combe, Alferi Jacobs, LLC. Could you tell me again what they're here for? Who they're representing and what they're representing for? Is there you want to answer that? Who represents? You said ethics? Um, I don't know who the Could carrier is having them represent. Could it be criminal representation? Could it be what? Criminal? I don't think it's criminal uh, no. representation, no. So if a board member, Mr. Tefano, was charged in criminal court on December 7th, and his attorney is Mr. Giacombe, I would assume it's criminal. So let me tell you what the law is. So whether you are a board member or a board employee, okay. you are entitled to indemnification and a defense. If it is a civil matter, um, you're entitled to indemnification and a defense, period. Mm. It this is a, isn't civil, though. Well, he didn't finish. Uh, you, you'll let me finish, though, right? Mm. Okay. If it is a criminal matter, you're entitled to those same things, but the uh, there is a right under the statute to seek reimbursement if the person is convicted. So when the um, claims, any claim made against the board comes in, they're sent to the district's ins insurance carrier, and if the insurance carrier deems it appropriate, they provide indemnification and they assign an attorney to provide the defense, which is why I don't know the mm -hmm. details of these because our firm literally has nothing to do with them. We would only get involved yeah, yeah. if coverage were rejected. Okay. So what you said may well be true. As I sit here, my honest answer is I don't know. But it would not strike me as odd because it's a requirement by law. If the carrier didn't provide coverage, the board would be obligated to, whether it's civil or criminal. So if a board member, say, got arrested for shoplifting, the board's going to pay their attorney fees? No. It has to be something that either the carrier or the board deems to be related to their duties as a board member. So if a private citizen signed a complaint against a board member, I'm taking it to board now? Because according to the complaint, when I read it on NJ Courts Online, it's a private citizen complaint for harassment. It, it doesn't matter whether it's a private citizen or not. It's whether or not the carrier, in this case, deems it to be related to the individual service on the board, and apparently they did. 